Hey there, welcome to Best Bets. These are the comic books that I will be pre-ordering before final order cutoff on March 13th and 14th, 2022. Enjoy. Alice Ever After, number one. Return to Wonderland in this twisted sequel by Dan Panosian. Alice first visited Wonderland as a child. Now an adult, it's her only escape from a cold, strange reality she finds herself living in. This is the Final Order Cutoff Reveal cover by J. Scott Campbell. Avengers Forever number 3, second printing. This book contains the first full appearance of Moon Knight, Mariama Spectre, the first full appearance of the Infinity Thing, and appearances from multiple alternate reality Red Skulls. Batman 122. Ra's al Ghul is dead, and Talia is out for revenge. Batman is on the case to find Deathstroke before Talia's elite killers do. This is the continuation of the story that began in Shadow War Alpha that was on FOC a week ago. This is cover B, the cardstock variant cover with art by Gabriel Del Otto. Batman Beyond, Neo Year Number 1. Neo Gotham has left Bruce Wayne for dead and will do everything in its power to destroy Terry McGinnis, including creating brand new villains to fight him. This is the cardstock cover B by Christian Ward. Black Panther number five. After first appearing in issue number three, this issue promises more on Tosin, the exciting new hero of Wakanda. This is the Spider-Man variant by Boss Logic. And this is cover C, featuring art by Greg Land. Electra, number 100. Electra has been one thing above all others, the most dangerous human being in the Marvel Universe. Everything that has happened in her long and storied life has been leading to this, the 100th issue bearing her name, and the starting point of what is to come. This is the variant cover by DK Ruan. Eternals, number 11. The Avengers are done with secrets and demand the Eternals explain themselves. But the Eternals have other plans, as Ajax has made contact with her celestial god. Firepower, number 19. This issue begins a brand new story arc and introduces a new character, Master Shun. Ghost Rider, number one, second printing. In the first issue of the latest ongoing series for Ghost Rider, we get the first appearance of Zeb, a dark magician. The first appearance of Talia Werode, an ex-SHIELD agent, and the first team appearance of a government agency tasked to investigate Ghost Rider. This second print features a brand new, amazing cover by Ryan Stegman. Knights of X number one. The gates to Otherworld are closed and Captain Britain is trapped on the wrong side. Cut off from Krakoa, Betsy Braddock is Otherworld's only hero and to save her people, Betsy must recruit a round table of her own. The Knights of X gather to restore the rightful order and rescue desperate mutants. But their quest is about to get much bigger than that. This is the Megan Hentrick variant cover. Legion of X number one, a new team of X-Men led by Nightcrawler, begins with a hunt for a missing Arakai god and a skinjacker possessing innocent mutants. This issue hints at first appearances of Weaponless Zen, Aura Serata, and a villain worth praying for. Mother Righteous debuts in this issue, hailing from the astral plane and proving the X-Men are mortals no longer. This is the design variant by Jamie McKelvey and features Mother Righteous on the cover. Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 37. Miles and Shift survive beyond and are thrust into an alter-dimensional quest where the people who left on this quest aren't going to be the same people who came back. This could be a teaser for potential new characters as Miles visits alternate dimensions. This is the variant with cover art by Kale New. Moon Knight, Black, White, and Blood number one. This is the first issue of a four-issue limited anthology series. One of the stories features the first appearance of the last living priest of Kanshu, a vigilante from 6,000 years in the future. 
Legendary creator Stan Sakai is the cover artist for this variant. Shang-Chi, number 11. Sister Hammer is back, but we don't know if she is friend or foe, and Shang-Chi won't have time to find out. This is the variant cover by Raza. Silk, number 4. Silk becomes her newest villain's latest victim, with a cover provided by in Hyuk Lee. Star Wars, number 23. The Dawn Alliance Part 2 of 3, The Last Division. The fate of the Rebel Alliance fleet is at stake, as its last remaining divisions face off in battle against the brutal tactics of Commander Elian Zahra and her crew on the Tarkin's will. This is cover A by Carlo Pagulian. This is the Traitor of the Dawn variant cover by Paul Renaud. Star Wars Darth Vader number 22. After the events of Crimson Reign, secrets are smashed and all traitors have been revealed. Now Darth Vader unleashes his endgame, but is his target Crimson Dawn or the Empire itself? This issue also promises a shocking reveal that cuts to the very core of Vader's dark heart. Vanity number one. This is a brand new series from Scout Comics Black Caravan imprint. The legendary Blood Countess Elizabeth Bathory is dead and grave diggers are assigned to relocate her corpse. But who was she really? Was she a monster or a victim? This is cover A by Joseph Schmalky. Venom number seven. In this issue, written by Ram V, Dylan stands poised to give in to the same parasitic alien darkness his father did, and Dylan is alone without Eddie's guidance. This cover by Brian Hitch features Venom battling Bedlam. X-Men number 10. The X-Men's troubles just keep piling up, one on top of another, and now an old enemy steps forward to cut in on the dance. This is cover A by Pepe Larraz.